Is it safe? That's the fundamental question asked by all the various units in the New York Department of Buildings daily. Occasionally, the answer isn't so simple. Sometimes engineering and mathematical expertise is needed to determine whether a building poses potential danger to the public. Damaged by neglect, fire, or a construction accident, it's at these times members of the department's forensic engineering unit are called to respond. When a building collapses, members of the team can be found walking through the rubble, pen and paper in hand, looking to answer complicated questions like why, how, and what. Why did the structure fall? How did certain factors lead to the collapse? What effect does the collapse have on the structural stability of the remaining building or neighboring properties? The specialized group of engineers has to consider every factor before making a determination. They regularly guide private engineers in bringing the property back up to code by reviewing and approving plans for site cleanup, construction equipment installation to protect the public, shoring up unstable walls and floors, demolition of unstable structural elements, and building restoration. And when a building is damaged beyond repair and poses a serious threat to neighboring properties and the public, the unit makes the decision whether or not to demolish the entire building. Investigating buildings isn't all they do. They play a crucial role in investigating issues of egress, crane collapses, retaining wall failures, and excavation incidents. Each building is different, and when they happen, building failures are unique too. Accidents happen, and when they do, our forensic engineering team is there to provide the technical expertise the department needs to figure out what happened and the path forward towards a safe New York. This is the work of the Forensic Engineering Unit.